prayer moves the arm of omnipotence. Nor did their own arm save them, but it was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. Dash. When trials arise that seem unexplainable, we should not allow our peace to be spoiled. However unjustly we may be treated, let not passion arise. While the world is progressing in wickedness, none of us need flatter ourselves that we shall have no difficulties. But it is these very difficulties that bring us into the audience chamber of the Most High. We may seek counsel of one who is infinite in wisdom. The Lord says, Call upon me in the day of trouble, He invites us to present to Him our perplexities and necessities, and our need of divine help. He bids us be instant in prayer. As soon as difficulties arise, we are to offer to Him our sincere, earnest petitions. By our importunate prayers we give evidence of our strong confidence in God. The sense of our need leads us to pray earnestly, and our Heavenly Father is moved by our supplications. Often those who suffer reproach or persecution for their faith are tempted to think themselves forsaken by God. To human eyes they are in the minority. To all appearance their enemies triumph over them. But let them not violate their conscience. He who has suffered in their behalf, and has borne their sorrows and afflictions, has not forsaken them. The children of God are not left alone and defenseless. Prayer moves the arm of omnipotence. Prayer has subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire. We shall know what it means when we hear the reports of the martyrs who died for their faith, turneth to flight the armies of the aliens. If we surrender our lives to his service, we can never be placed in a position for which God has not made provision. Whatever may be our situation, we have a guide to direct our way, whatever our perplexities, we have a sure counselor, whatever our sorrow, bereavement, or loneliness, we have a sympathizing friend. If in our ignorance we make missteps, Christ does not leave us. His voice, clear and distinct, is heard saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life, he shall deliver the needy when he crieth, the poor also and him that hath no helper. Dash.